Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter Up Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. I have tried to record this video two times already. I've spent over an hour and a half, two hours recording this video. Um, and every time I got towards the end, the camera bugged out. So third time's a charm, but I have my tea. I did reheat my tea up. Um, I'm drinking the Bigelow Pumpkin Spice Black Tea. This tea is like life, you guys. I have this all the time now. This is like my coffee now for the morning. Um, and this is a black tea, and I mix it with a little bit of pumpkin spice creamer, and it just makes it so creamy and so good. It's such a good tea. But, um... As the title says above, this is going to be my Bible collection, my end of year Bible collection. And I don't like to call it a collection video like I said in the first video that I did with my collection. Which I will leave a link to where I, um, link down below to that first video. But, um, I don't like to call it a collection video because I don't collect Bibles. I use every one of my Bibles for a specific purpose. Um, they all have a specific reason to me using them. And that's just why. So I have a total of 21 physical Bibles. And I say physical because I do own 11 ebook Bibles. I'm going to quickly show you guys those, which are on my phone. So I have 11 of them. I also have like some biblical like resources on my Bible and also Bible studies um, on my phone. So yeah, I do have 11 ebook Bibles, which if you guys are interested in seeing that, I can share with you guys what Bibles those are. But um, these are the physical Bibles that I own. And I know somebody's going to ask me two questions. One, why so many Bibles? And two, why so many translations? So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six translations, which are the NIV, NLT, New King James, King James, CSB, and the ESB. I also have the HCSB, but I count that as a CSB. So, six translations. And I have so many Bibles because, one, I was either sent them for review... I purchased them to use to study or they were given to me as a gift so um, another reason is because a lot of Bibles have different type of articles and resources in them that differ from other ones so I like reading those type of articles and studying and studying them and breaking them apart and understanding some Bibles have word studies some Bibles have like are specific and geared towards prayer so I get Bibles for a number of reasons but I don't let my Bible sit on my shelf and not be used like all of my Bibles have some type of writing in them. They all have a specific pur purpose. So as I'm showing you guys each Bible, I will walk through where I got it from and what I'm using it for and if I've already started using it. Um, a lot of these Bibles I haven't used yet because I have to make reviews for you guys. But I don't want to do the reviews until I actually... I mean, I don't want to start using them until I do those reviews. So once this video is done, I'm actually going to go through my videos and see which videos I've already done and which ones I haven't. So, if I have a review for any of these Bibles, it'll be listed down below. You can click the eye on the screen for that. But, let's jump into this video. So, I'm breaking this video down by translation. We're going to start off with the NIV, jump into the NLT. Then, we're going to go into the ESV, the CSB, then the New King James, and then the King James. So, starting off with the NIV, I only have one Bible in this translation. Personally, because I'm not a big fan of the NIV, and if I do need to read it, I just read it on my phone through the Holy Bible app. But that is the NIV Thin Line Bible. I got this one off of ChristianBook.com when they were having their $5 sale. Um, this one is the Orchid Italian Duo. Yes, the Orchid Italian Duo Leather. This is literally a basic Bible. There is no concordance. There is no maps. There are no charts. Um, they do have, like, your measurements in the back. There are no ribbons. There is nothing special about this Bible. It's a basic Bible, and I got it for the sole purpose of using it to study when I study with my sister. But then I ran across um, something my sis was doing, my sister Angela over at uh, Transform Through God's Word, which is the daughter of uh, the daughter, <laughs> the sister group of Daughter of Increase. And she has this Bible study, I think it's either a book or a Bible study booklet that talks about the promises of God. And it got me thinking that I really want to go through the promises of God. And I have like a mini book. I don't even know where that book is right now. I have one of these like small books that goes through like the promises of God and I really want to go through the promises of God and like know them for myself. I have this devotion here which goes through 365 promises of God. So I figured having a Bible specifically geared towards the promises of God would be awesome. So um, that's what I'm utilizing this one for. I already have my little color key set. So here's promises of God. And I just have two colors. Purple for conditional promises. Which are basically promises that God promised to give me as long as I'm doing something. I guess you can say. And then unconditional promises. Which are promises that he gives me whether I do something 
or not. So um, that's what I'm using this Bible for. But as I said, this is literally your standard basic Bible. Um, two column text, nothing crazy. There's no uh, red letter text if I'm not mistaken. Is it red letter text? Good question. Nope, there's no red letter text or anything like that. And I actually did have one. So here is one here. This was actually... Okay, so before I started using it as a promise Bible, I was using it as a prayer Bible. So I was going through and highlighting prayers, but then I switched one of my to my other one of my other Bibles as a prayer Bible. So um I did have some markings in here for prayers, but um I decided to switch completely over to utilizing this as a uh promise Bible. So that's what this Bible is for. It's a promise Bible as well as the Bible I use when I'm studying with my sister because I did get her an NIV translation. Moving on to the NLT, starting off with this one, this is a pocket thin line New Testament Bible with Psalms and Proverbs, and I literally use this to um, keep in my purse and carry with me, and I highlight as I study um, any key verses that stand out to me, so this kind of gives me like encouragement when I want to um, have encouragement from the Word of God, and obviously I can keep that on my phone, but I just, I don't know, there's something about an actual Bible, it is a pink highlighter just because this Bible is pink. But it's literally just the New Testament Psalms and Proverbs, which works great for me. Um, so I always have this out when I'm studying anything in the New Testament Psalms or Proverbs. And as I'm studying in my other Bibles, I highlight anything that sticks out in this Bible. So that's what I use this one for. And I normally keep it in my purse. Not going to lie, I totally forgot I had this until I made this video. Because I throw it over there on my desk somewhere. So it's going to start going back into my purse. Moving on, I have the Everyday Matters Bible for Women. Practical encouragement to make everyday matter. I think I do have a review on this Bible. This is not a study Bible. This is just a regular like Bible, but it does have different things. So if I'm not mistaken, there are 24 spiritual practices is what they call them. And it looks like this. And um, it basically breaks the different parts of the Bible up into 24 different parts. And then there are four different types of articles that you can read. So they have what this is called. These are everyday profiles. So they're biblical profiles about the women of the Bible. And then they connect to an actual um, practice. So for Rahab, her practice was servant, service and hers is an unlikely servant. Um, you have your Q&A articles which are like your everyday questions you also have everyday reflections and everyday matters so i'm trying to find a reflection article okay so here is an everyday reflection article that's tied to a practice and then you have your everyday matters which are like two page articles you have your everyday ma um, matters articles which are two page spreads which look like this. And um, I really enjoy this Bible a lot. I haven't used it quite often. Um, I was using this to study the Word of God originally before I got a journaling Bible. And I can show you guys in the book of Romans. No, actually in John. I use this to study in John and in Romans. Um, so, here it is. I was using it to make notes. I was writing in the margins, sticky notes, um, color coding in this Bible. And then, more recently, I've been using this as like my online sermon Bible where I use this Bible when I'm listening to an online sermon because they normally use the New King James or the NLT translation and more so I use it when I'm listening to Pastor Michael Todd because he uses it quite often and I'm not sure if you guys can see but I like mark along with him as he discuss the uh, verses and scriptures so that's what I use this Bible for I haven't used it quite often because I haven't really been watching sermons online but that's what I use this for then I have um, three of the inspire Bibles if you guys don't know what the inspire Bible is like really um, but it's basically this now this is the large print one that I have they do have it in a regular print but um, I have the large print and the inspire Bible is literally just a coloring Bible and I know that sounds insane but it's so hard to get this out of the box there we go so here it is, the Inspire Large Print um, Coloring Bible. And what it is, I will show you guys right now, is it's a coloring Bible. Let me take that paper out. Um, and there are basically images throughout that you can color. I've colored three images in here. So here's one that I finished here, which I loved. Um, I colored that when I was studying Luke. I did another one inside of John. This was the first one I actually did. And then I have one in Esther, which is like my favorite one ever because it's so pretty. It's not done. Though. I actually need to finish it. But um, I did this when we were studying Esther. So. There are literally just images throughout this Bible. There are lines, as you can see. 
where you can um, take notes and things like that. But this Bible is literally just a more creative way to study the Word of God. Some people do um, the journaling, the art journaling Bible. That's not really me per se. Um, I don't want to, you know, draw in the Word of God. But if there are images, I will color them. So I do love this Bible for that purpose. And I use this when I am looking just for some downtime with God, but I don't want to like hardcore study. I will read a scripture and then color the corresponding um, image if it has one. So they do have an updated version of the Inspire Bible, which comes in like this gorgeous purple. And I'm going to insert the picture here. So gorgeous. Um, they have a girls version or teen girls version as well. I really wanted that one so bad for review, but by the time I requested it, um, it was already out of stock for review. Um, I'll post the image of that one here. It is so pretty. The images are so pretty. And that one is geared towards girls and teenagers. Um, so I think that would be a, like, a great gift for like a mom and a daughter to do or like sisters to do or nieces or whatever. Like two women to do. Like gorgeous. Um, and they're coming out with another one. That's the Catholic Girls Bible. Um, and it looks like this. I was going to get it, but I'm not Catholic. I'm Christian, non-denominational. Non oh my god, I can't speak today. You guys know what I'm saying. And, um, yeah, it has like the Maccabi or Maccab. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try to butcher it. But, um, it's a Catholic Bible. So I was going to request that one, but I'm not Catholic, so I decided not to. But, um, it's really pretty. But I also have their Inspire Psalms. Which is literally the whole book of Psalms um, in its own little coloring book. And I've only done one image in here, which was Psalms 91. And I didn't finish it because there is a picture on the back of it as well that correlates to Psalms 91. And it's the same thing where it has like the lines for you to write in. So I think this would be a great one to use um, when I start speaking at my church and like I'm doing something in the book of Psalms I could use this to write my notes in and um, also have the images to cover obviously but um I also have the inspire proverbs I have not used this one yet like at all I have not colored in this at all but the images are so pretty if you guys can tell me like that's not pretty that's so gorgeous and I like that this one has both um your full color pages here and the pages in here are a lot more thicker so, you can watercolor, paint, whatever the case may be. I'm not sure if the ins the Psalms had that same ordeal. No, the Psalms did not have that same ordeal where they had, like, that one page. I mean, the pages in the back. Because in the back of Proverbs, there are, like, images. Oh, my gosh. This is so... Okay, so, I did not know that. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I've had this one for so long, and I didn't even know. So, there are these amount of pages which are like full color images you can color. And I think these would be like cool to color and put into like um, photo albums. And then they have these which are color cut and share. So, you basically, you color them and you give them out. Or you can use them as bookmarks or like gifts. So I think that is so cool. There are a few pages of that. I did not know that. I'm not going to lie. That's how you know I haven't been using this. And um, I'm definitely going to color these and cut them out and use them as bookmarks. Because that is amazing. Like these smaller ones down here are great for bookmarks. And then these larger ones. It says to fold them like in half. So you can use them to keep. Like you can color them and stick them around your house for like um, decoration. Or give them out to people. I'm not going to lie, I didn't know that. They also have, like, larger ones you can use for note cards. So, yeah, I didn't know that. I haven't used it. Like, I got it because it was Proverbs and it was a coloring Bible and I really wanted it. Moving on to the ESV. I have three from the ESV. Yes. So, the first one I'm going to show you guys is one that you all should know that I use. I mean, I use it when I do these Bible studies. And that is the ESV Single, col single Column Journaling Bible. Um, this is the one that I use when I do my Bible studies here on YouTube. I will be switching from this translation. Um, I'll still use this one as well as the CSB, but I'm going to more so start using the New King James just because I prefer that translation. But, um, yes, this is a single column journaling Bible. I use this when we do our online Bible studies, and it's great for keeping all your study notes together with the actual text and Word of God. Simple as that. The next Bible is the Story of Redemption Bible ESB. This is a commentary Bible written by Pastor Gilbert. Greg Gilbert, um, and it's illustrations done by Peter Voth. I love this Bible. First of all, she is gorgeous. I'm looking at the screen because, like, I love looking at the foiling on this. Foiling is legit, you guys. Um, I mean, there's nothing. It's so pretty. 
pretty. I know I just said that so weird, but it's this Bible, the presentation of this Bible is stunning. Um, this is a commentary Bible, and I will show you guys what I mean. I'm trying to find a good page so you can really, really see it. So, this Bible does come with um, introductions. I've done a video on this Bible already. So, the books of the Bible do come with like little introductions written by Pastor Greg Gilbert. But this is a commentary Bible in which, as you're reading it, because it is single column style, you get these breaks um, and under these lines, which are commentary notes from Pastor Greg Gilbert. So, you get like the text, commentary, text, I know that's commentary, text, commentary. So, like, it's a commentary Bible where there's just strict strict commentary on um the bible and how it correlates with christ and god obviously there are illustrations throughout maps throughout and um at the back they have like reading plans and um they have like this chart i don't even know what this chart is called what is this called the timeline of the story of redemption so it's a really good bible if you want to know more about this bible i do have it linked um down below or click the on screen to watch that video but um this bible I haven't decided how I want to use it. Um, I do use it anytime I study the Word of God when I want more insight and I want when I yeah basically want more insight when I'm studying and I feel like there is a lot more to understand about the scripture. But um, I haven't utilized it as much yet just because I recently got it and I just haven't had the time to think about using it as often. But it is very pretty. Um, and the last uh, ESV study Bible that I have is the Archaeology Study Bible and the ESV um, Bibles. First of all, I didn't even tell you so. All of the NLT and Inspire Bibles I did get for free through the um, Tindu My Reader Rewards program. The Journaling Bible from ESV I purchased. The NLT Everyday Woman Study Bible, I mean the Everyday Matters Bible I purchased. Um, the Story of Redemption Bible I got for review from e um, Crossway as well as this one I got for review from Crossway. Hopefully that helps. I totally forgot to tell you guys that. But um, I love this Bible so much. This is a strict archaeology Bible and I love it so much. There are Bible introductions. There are study notes. But this Bible is everything. I've had this Bible since May and I mean there are lots of like real life photographs in here. Here is what the Bible looks like itself. So you get two column text. You get a lot of references, like cross references in here. And I swear this is like the cross reference Bible of cross reference Bibles. Like, I swear it is, guys. This is amazing. And then you get your study notes at the bottom. But your study notes, which I like about this, is a lot more about the places, people, and things um, that like were taking place in that time. So I really like that. Um, they show you like the different images of the flowers. You also get illustrations of like temples in here. I showed these when I did the, I think it was the John study Bible we did early on. But um, yeah, I, I love this Bible so much. It's so pretty. There are maps and things like that. Um, there's a concordance in here. There are other uh, archaeology supplements in here. So I really do like this Bible because I feel like it brings the word of God to life for me. Um, and I know that sounds crazy because the Word of God is living, obviously. But what I mean by that is it's kind of like when you're in history class and you're learning something about, like, the Indian tribes. And you, like, you get it. You, it's awesome and stuff like that. But when you go to a museum, it brings what you learned in history class to life a lot more. I feel this way with this Bible because it has a lot of real-life images and um, things that correlate to, like, the temples and the people and the things that they wore. It just really brings it to life. I highly suggest you guys get your hands on this Bible. Um, it's amazing. You can get this on Amazon or ChristianBook.com. I have the um, hardcover just because I'm more of a hardcover person. I don't really care whether it's leather or not. But I really do love this Bible a lot. Moving on to CSB translations now. So I do have the older HCSB translation. Um, this was the Holman's Christian Standard Bible. And this one is the Lavender and Blush Leather Touch. This is a study Bible for women. From Holman's. I love this Bible. This Bible was everything. This was one of the Bibles that I used when I first started studying Romans. Um, I didn't use it as much when I studied John just because I had my other Bibles. Oops, sorry about that, you guys, if you're hearing noise. But um, I use this a lot when I studied Romans, and I will show you guys what I mean. Can we get to Romans? So here is Romans. And you guys can see like the pencil markings and stuff like that. I was using it a lot, color coding in this Bible. I was using the Good Morning Girls color coding system in this specific Bible. But um, yeah, it's just a study Bible. There's a lot of things in here. What they call, um, first of all, I love their maps. Like, <laughs> that was so random. But I love how vibrant their maps are. So gorgeous. There is a concordance in here. 
there are articles in here there are word studies doctrines um that they break down but i was using this like i said to study as a study bible but then i switched over to using it for like my devotional study yeah my devotional study bible when i do my um our daily bread and in touch ministry devotionals i'm not gonna lie i have not done those in almost three four months probably longer <laughs> um but i do have an actual color code that i use in this bible um, and then I have a prayer in here and a sticker in here, but this is my devotional color coding system. So I use this specifically when I'm doing my devotional time with those specific devotionals, um, just because I feel like it helps me to pull out more from the scripture text. But um, I love this Bible so much. There are articles in here, like I said. Um, I like that the New Testament, if it refers, if there's like an uh, Old Testament quote in the New Testament, they bold that quote, which I think is great. The study notes are great. Um... And yeah, pretty much I love this Bible. My only gripe was the coloring. And I'll show you guys what I mean. I don't like how dull and gray it was, but I did love the color of the Bible itself. It's pretty. I like lavender and pink. So, yes. Um, but this is my devotional Bible that I use. My Bible when I'm doing any of my Our Daily Bread or In Touch Ministry devotionals. I do have the updated version of this Bible which is the CSB study Bible for women and it looks like this there is a pretty leather touch one which has like blue leather and then it has like floral print on it, it is so pretty but I got the hardcover this was sent to me for review from um BH bloggers Holman Holman yeah um through Lifeway yeah through their BNH bloggers program I think is what it's called um I'll leave links to the program down below but I did get this one for review the HCSB one I actually paid for myself but this one I did get for review and um it's gorgeous the only thing that I like more so than this is that this one is a lot more colorful as you can see the colors don't bother my eyes and there are illustrations and I'm going to see if I can find that illustration I know it's in first kings here it is this one has illustrations whereas the other one didn't and I feel like the text is a little bit bigger in this um in this updated version um, like the maps are still as pretty as ever. I love the maps. And, um, what else, what else? There are slight changes here and there. I don't know if I did a video on that. If I did, I'll leave it linked down below. But, um, in the back, I don't know, okay. I don't know why this is in the back of the Bible and at the front of the Bible. I feel like this was like the dumbest thing that they could have done. Um, I feel like this is one of those things that should be at the front of the Bible. But, um, in the back, this was the same case for the HCSB. They have this section that talks about the different resources all the way behind all of this guys right so this has book introductions it has um word studies you have articles on biblical womanhood you have hard questions which are questions that they post throughout that are literally hard questions that you tend to think about but don't ask um there's like applications at the end of each bible which are basically a devotional word of application celebration or encouragement sometimes it's even a prayer and then you have your study notes, you have your doctrines and your character profiles. And they call those threads because it kind of threads throughout the entire Bible, which I think is great. But um, I love this Bible. I use it to study anytime. I like I, I, I use this Bible to study. Pretty much as simple as that. Um, you guys saw me using this in the James um, introduction video that I did because I'm doing a study on James, but I use that. The next Bible I have is the She Reads Truth CSB Bible. And it's another journaling Bible in the CSB translation. I did pay for this off of christianbook.com because I really really wanted it and it's really really pretty and I am so glad I got this bible um, so I have the poppy linen just because the poppy just was like ugh, it was it was calling my name this was one of those bibles that I was debating on because there was a lot of gripe about the paper and the paper quality and it sucks I'm not gonna lie it sucks um paper quality it's trash um and I know that sounds harsh to say but compared to all my other bibles um even my regular bibles that are not journaling bibles the paper quality on this is just not as good but um it's a single column text bible with a lot of space no lines to do your notes you can color in this if you want to i know that anna willemstein uses this bible to do a lot of her like studying in and i think that's great um but yeah this bible is great it has let me show you guys so it gives you book introductions as well as gorgeous artwork with the key scripture every section of the bible has like a color code which goes with like if it's a law if it's the prophets if it's wisdom and things like that um and then you get either a timeline a map or something that has to correlate with that for daniel they give you a map um, i'm sorry a timeline um they also give you a 
weekly reading plan which is either going to be for i think anywhere from three to five weeks but they also give you other things to read if you guys can see here's your weekly reading plan then you get your text but there's also articles throughout that correspond to the actual um, text that you're reading so this is for daniel 1 through 17 I'm sorry, Daniel 1 verses 1 through 7 and Daniel 1 verses 1 through 7 is on the other side. So I like that. Um, this does come with two bookmarks. I enjoy that. There is, what's in the back of this? can't remember. <laughs> um, I've done a video. You can check it down below. But um, there is no concordance in this Bible, which sucks. But they give you um, a section for all the key verses. They tell you guys about the, um, the genre guide is what they call it. So like every color has a specific reason. So that's what this is for. I have written in this Bible before. Let me see if I can find it. So like I said, I, I have written in this Bible before. I just wanted to try it out. And if you guys can see, the, uh, the show through is ridiculous. There's no bleeding. But this was just a regular pen and my Crayola uh, Twistables. It sucks. Like I said, the paper quality sucks. But it's such a good Bible. So I hope they eventually update it to um use better quality paper but i think it's amazing there's a one year um bible reading plan in here there's 189 devotionals this is a great bible for teenagers who want to get into studying the word of god but they really want like an aesthetically pleasing bible this would be a great one to have um i haven't started using it fully but i will be using this in the future starting next year to do bible studies with um, because I, I like I said with the ESV, I do want to switch over to the New King James, but I do want to start using this because a lot of people um, are always asking about this Bible. So I do want to switch between the ESV, this CSV, as well as my New King James when I'm studying the Word of God, depending on um, where the Lord leads me to use which translation, if that makes sense. So we have this one. The next CSV Bible is this one, which is a Worldview Study Bible, also from Holman. I have mine in a navy leather touch. I did get this one for review as well. I love this Bible. It's so amazing. Um, I refer to this as my men's Bible. I did get one for my fiance, and I got one, another one that I'm giving away to um, a fellow subscriber. But um, it looks like this. This is what I call, like, a good Bible. <laughs> um, because... This one has a lot more articles to it that I think really spike my interest. Um, and I'll run through some of the articles. So, if I can get to the page. So, the articles are like the mind, body problem, gender equality in church history, um, ethics of global missions, a biblical view of marriage, a biblical view of child rearing, spiritual warfare, um... There's also one about like the LGBTQ community and um, Christian higher education, a biblical view of adoption, oh, engaging LGBT um, advocates, health and wellness, purpose and parameters of sexual relations, birth control and procreation technology, is gender a choice? Like there are so many different articles written by so many phenomenal people in this Bible and um I really like this Bible, and I like that um, in the introduction of the Bibles, of the books of the Bible, sorry, they break down other things that some Bibles don't, such as like the Christian worldview element about the teachings that God, basically the teachings about God, um, humanity, and salvation in each book of the Bible, which I love. Um, and you guys have seen me use this already. I, I really do enjoy this Bible. There is a concordance, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there's a concordance. Um, in the back of this Bible, there are maps in the back of this Bible, and I use it as a study Bible. I mean, the study notes in this are pretty darn good. Um, it doesn't have an extensive study notes section, but um, I do enjoy this Bible a lot. It is a CSB, and this is another Bible that has a really good amount of cross-references that I don't find in, like, other Bibles that I own. So, I use this specifically to study. There, that's just pretty much it. A lot of these Bibles I use specifically for like when I'm studying the Word of God to get more in-depth information. Um, I mean, you guys can see how many study Bibles I own. When I do these online Bible studies and you see like the extensive amount of notes I do, I go hard. I study because I don't want to give you guys just any old thing. And I also want to learn for myself. Like I'm learning before I'm teaching you. And then as I'm showing you, 
through the videos, I'm learning even more because God is revealing things to me. So that's how I do it. So we're going to move on to the New King James now. So I only have three from the New King James. So obviously I have my infamous Journal of the Word Bible in the New King James from Thomas Nelson. I purchased this myself. I think it was either Amazon or Christian book. I think I got some Christian book. Um, I do want to get an updated version just because uh, I don't care for the way this is like fraying. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's fraying and starting to rip apart. Like, it's getting beat up. But I have used this extensively, you guys. I mean, here's the book of Psalms. Like, I've, I've used this Bible extensively. I'm still in Psalms on 68. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. My son has wrote drawn in my Bible. Yes, he did. Um, Mark, which you guys know I'm still studying Mark. I gave up on Mark, though. I'm, I'm pausing on that. Um, John, I did a few things, but I haven't done too extensively in here. But Ephesians, I tow it up in Ephesians, you guys. Like, do you see the amount of sticky... Am I done? Do you see the amount of notes you... You, you guys don't understand. You don't understand how much I love this Bible. Um, this is literally where I put all of my study notes at. Like, when I'm studying the Word of God, this is my Bible that I use. But, I love it so much. I mean, I, there's really nothing else to say I love this Bible. This is my study Bible. It's not a study Bible, it's a journaling Bible, but I use this to study the Word of God. Like I said in my other video, um, when I talked about this Bible, I did try to draw and all that in here, and I hated it. Um, I, I, I hated it. I hated it. I... I hated it like so much so yeah that's why I don't like to do the art style of journaling I literally just journal my notes all of my study notes my prayers are in here okay so like at the top of my Bible you see these tabs here um, those are basically where I have my prayers written because I do write prayers in this Bible and I date them um, I have a longer prayer in here as well right here so like I write prayers in this Bible and I date them just so I can go back in the future um, and check to see if they were ever answered but um moving on the next NKJV is the ancient modern Bible and I also just got this for review I have a review video already posted for this check down below or click the eye on the screen one or the other but um yeah this is a nice Bible it's kind of like the ESV commentary Bible where I said you really don't need it um, this, like I said, was sent to me for review through their Book Look Bloggers program. Um, they have Bibles, they have books, there are devotionals and stuff like I love that program so much. Link down below if you guys want to join it. But, um, yeah, I got this because, one, it's the NKJV. I like this translation a lot. And this kind of gives you the feel of a journaling Bible, if you guys can see. It's single column text. There are spaces on the side, but a lot of the spaces have, like, notes. And this is compiled by so many influential christian people you have um i don't even know who that is what is this guy's name you have john wellesley you have charles bergen um augustine warren weiserberg frederick Boucher, and things like that matthew henry ambrose so like it's literally that there are introductions to the books of the bible in here which have that kind of like old victorian style writing which i love um, and that's pretty much it. There are other things in the back, like the Apostles' Creed. There are articles in the back. Um, and there are also photographs in the back, which I really like. The images. So, this is one of those Bibles. I use this when I study, but I'm also going to use this as a journaling Bible as well, because there is a journaling space in here. So, this will be one of the Bibles you will see me using as a journaling Bible next year. So, no real purpose right now, but in my mind, I'm going to be using this as a study Bible. Um, or probably turn it into like a personal commentary Bible to go along with the other commentary in here. We'll see. I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to utilize this, but it will be utilized for a specific reason. Just saying. Um, the last NKJV is my new beauty, my new baby. You guys have seen me review this Bible. I Check out the review if you haven't. I love this Bible so much. A lot more than my first Bible, which was the, in the KJV Women's Study Bible. This is the NKJV Spirit-Filled Life Bible by um, Thomas Nelson. It's executive edited by Jack W. Hayford. This is the Kingdom Equipping Through the Power of the Word Bible. This is a study Bible, and this Bible is amazing. I have the burgundy leather touch. Yes, leather soft is what they call it. This is the box. Um, and here is this 
big hefty beauty. This is the Bible that I keep out on my desk at all times because she's gorgeous. Um, and it's my new favorite Bible, like, ever, ever. Like, my number one Bible that I've been recently studying with the most. I just love all that this Bible offers. Um, first of all, this is hefty. Um, it's beautiful. And this Bible has different things. So there's something called Kingdom Dynamics in this Bible, which are basically key elements of life, um, I'm sorry, of the life of a growing devoted disciple in God's kingdom. And they break that down into nine different groups, which I think is amazing. Um, and then there are like different articles and stuff. Then they also have what they call word wealth, which are basically word studies. And there are over 650 of those. And they give you a list of all the words. They have something called uh, truth in action, which is basically a chart at the end of each book of the Bible. In which they go through the complete book of the Bible and um, pull out the truths from the Bible and then shows you a way to actually apply it to your life which i think is amazing i haven't seen a lot of bibles that do that where they actually give you real life applications to um, apply the word of god to your life that's what i really like and then they have a section called praying the word um which is just prayers concerning scriptures they obviously has um in text charts and maps and stuff like that so i'm going to quickly show you guys what i mean if i can find it okay so here we go so here you have um a kingdom dynamics you have your praying the word and you have a chart here are you guys seeing this it's a chart here um here is a word wealth your study notes are at the bottom the center column has like your cross references and parallel path par um passages here is your truth in action this i'll leave a link to the video just watch the video this is one of my favorite bibles like that i own right now because it's it's powerful. This is the one I'm actually using for the Jane study. Um, so you'll see this a lot more in my videos. It's phenomenal. And lastly, we're going on to the King James. So the Bible that was my number one Bible, like ever, is the Woman's Study Bible um, in the King James Signature Series from Thomas Nelson. This is a Woman's Study Bible. I love this Bible so much. My mom got me this Bible. I picked it out. She paid for it. She got it from ChristianBook.com um, over two years ago. I keep that inside of my Bible bag, inside of the case. But um, I'm going to take it out so you guys can see it. Now, they do have updated versions of this Bible, which are really pretty that I really want. But um, this is a Pink Cafe Olate design. It's basically Pink Cafe um, cloth and then imitation leather on the side with the floral print. I really do like this Bible. It's hard to find this Bible, but you can if you really want it. Um, I will try to find the links where you guys can get this if you really want this one. They do have updated ones, but... Um, I love this Bible. Like, I got this Bible. When did I get this? March 4th, 2016. It's been two years since I've had this Bible. And this Bible goes to church with me. This is my church Bible. But, um, I'm trying to find John. Because this is for you guys who swear that you, um, or who don't swear, but who believe they can't, um, uh, do journaling with, like, Bible journaling without the Bible. A journaling Bible. I'm going to quickly just show you guys. I have done studying in this Bible before I got a journaling Bible. And I was highlighting sticky notes, writing in the margins. I was highlight happy. I studied John in here. I've studied Romans in here. I think I did some of Luke in here as well. I've done some of the Psalms. I've actually done a video um, doing Psalms 1, right? Yeah. I did a video doing this method here so you guys can see that. Um... But yeah, this was the first Bible I had, and I love it so much. There are lots of quotes, charts, articles. The articles in this Bible are phenomenal. There's a concordance in the back. There are maps in the back. Um, I love this Bible. This is my church Bible as well as a study Bible that I use. I mean, that's really all that I can say about that. Then I have the Thompson Chain reference in the KJV. I love this Bible. This is what I call my humongous reference slash cross-reference Bible because this Bible has so many different biblical resources. There are eight different departments, as they call them. Um, there are arche archaeological supplements. There are um, timelines. There are charts. There are illustrations. There are profiles. There are breakdowns. There are just so many things in this Bible on top of having lots of cross-references. This is the Bible that I feel everyone should own before having a study Bible. I mean... This is a study Bible in and of itself without the commentary. This is a Bible that studies scripture to prove itself, if that makes sense. I love this Bible. I've done a video on this. I will leave it linked down below or click the eye on the screen. 
this is like the most essential Bible I think every person should own because this will take your your Bible study to a whole nother level. It's it's phenomenal. Get it. Okay, guys, so I know that the camera quality totally switched up. The other camera I was using was bugging out, so I had to turn it off and charge it. So I'm charging it now, and I'm just using my regular cell phone right now to record, and I hate the quality on this thing, but I do want to finish this video because there's only three Bibles left to show you. So, um, again, this one here is the Devotional Bible for Women. Um, I got this from ChristianBook.com when they were having one of their, like, $5 book and Bible sales. I snagged this one up. It's, um, written, but not written, but the devotionals are by Ellie Claire. And Ellie Claire makes those really pretty Bible tabs that you guys have seen in my other Bibles. Super gorgeous tabs. She makes those. And I was excited to get this, um, one because it's pretty. I mean, duh it's just gorgeous i love everything about this bible but um the devotionals are pretty cool as well so let's see if i can find one let me see here's one right here so the devotionals look like this hopefully you can see this lighting is not too bad but that's it and um yeah so I, it took me a minute to figure out what i wanted to use this as and like i said um previously when i showed you guys the niv bible i said i was using that one as a prayer bible but then i switched over to this bible as a prayer bible so i do have my little index key in here you guys can see um with all the colors and stuff but um these little tabs uh, sorry about the lighting on this guys but um the tabs here are basically how i use this bible so i have some prayers highlighted throughout this Bible for specific reasons. And I don't think I did a video on this. And if I did, I'll find it. But um, yeah, I have things already highlighted throughout this Bible. I have the prayer of Jabaz highlighted down here. You guys can see that. So I use this literally to go through and highlight the prayers of the Bible. Anything that was ever prayed, um, if it has a specific purpose, I go through and highlight it. And I have different things like... Um, prayers of thanksgiving, intercession, adoration, faith, supplication, confession, and repentance. Then I have like the key prayers that I want to remember. Um, anything that's like a prayer point I want to underline and things that I want to pray that are not prayers in the Bible. Um, so for example, I think it was Ruth. Yeah, and Ruth I, uh, I didn't underline, I mean I didn't highlight, but I did box off. Um, the whole thing with Ruth not wanting to leave Naomi. If you guys can see that. Uh, I boxed it off in purple. I'm not sure if I have anything in here that I highlighted in green yet. Oh, wait. Is this one? Oh, yeah. Here, I have something in green. This was the advice that David gave to Solomon in 1 Kings um, chapter 2, verses 1. I'm sorry, 2 through 4. I did highlight that in green. So, um, you know, I just, I use this as a prayer Bible. I haven't used it in a minute because I just haven't. Um, but this is my prayer Bible. The next Bible is the one from A.W. Tozer. I also got this from ChristianBook.com when they were having a sale. I think I paid 10 or $5. I think it was $10 though. Um, this is a King James study Bible. It's not a study Bible per se, but, um, it does have book introductions, which look like this. So you have your book introductions here and then you have your two column text with cross references on the side in the center I mean at the last column and then throughout these there are like different excerpts from his book from his various books and um, I do own a few right here this one here has three of his books in one then I have his evening devotional and his morning devotional so um this one includes a brief biography of who he is it also has over 500 of his selections from his different books it is red letter text book introductions concordance and maps this is from Hendrickson's Bible and um yeah I haven't used it quite often because I haven't read his books and this is the Bible that I'm going to use when I do read his books um just as I feel like it would just correlate better that way since this does have um excerpts from his other books so anytime I'm reading any of his devotionals or like his stuff um, and there's like a scripture to read. I will specifically go to that scripture in here and see if there's an article or anything or if not just highlight in here. So this one will be, will be specifically for him because my pastor talks about him. My bishop talks about him. Um, and he has a lot of good books that I've heard are great that I'm working on getting. So this will be specifically for his work when I read his work. 
And the last and final Bible I have is the Pray the Scriptures Bible. And I heard about this Bible from two places. I can't remember the lady's name here on YouTube, but I'll leave it linked down below. Or click the eye on the screen to check out her video where she talked about this Bible. Um, but I also heard about this from my sis Anne from Transform Through God's Word. Uh, she has this Bible and um, I just fell in love with it. And it's amazing. It comes in the KJV as well as the God's Message. And the God's Message is more of a green version. This Bible is amazing. Um, I'm going to be using this as a prayer Bible as it is. This is called the Pray the Scripture Bible. And on the front it has the Our Father Prayer in, like, in it. If you guys can see that. Um, but the way it is set up is kind of like that one column journaling Bible. But each kind of verse has its own prayer. If you guys can see here. So, um, the way I'm going to use this is to write down all of my prayers in here. And obviously my prayers are going to be written throughout all of my Bibles, but this will be like my main kind of secondary prayer journal or prayer Bible, if that makes sense. So, um, I'm going to do a whole video on how I'm going to set this up, but, um, there are introductions in here to the books of the Bible, which I think is cool. Um, and prayers. And I use the prayers as kind of like prompts, like in Acts, you have quite a few of those. So... I'm excited to dive into this and I haven't used it yet because I haven't made a video on this I don't think and if I did make the video on this then that means I can start playing with it but I don't think I did because I didn't take the ribbon out so I need to actually make the video on this so that I can actually do uh, my video on how I'm using this but after I make that video review this Bible will be specifically used to house a lot of my prayers like the prayers I put on my wall that I have to do with scriptures I'm going to stick them in here um, and keep them in this Bible because I feel like that's going to be phenomenal. So this has over 4,500 4, um, specific scripture prayers. It's a guide to pray in scripture. There's introductions. There are articles as well, which I didn't even know. There's articles throughout this Bible. Um, there's an index of the prayers as well as a topical prayer guide. So I think that's phenomenal and um, it's great for those who find it hard to pray. I said mentioned, I've mentioned this plenty of times. I personally find it hard to pray. I'm more of a writer. Um, so I prefer to, write, prefer to write my prayers, whereas this helps me to prompt to actually pray out scripture over my life and pray in general. But um, that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I know this is a lot of Bibles, 21 Bibles total, but I do use every last one of these Bibles for a specific purpose and a specific use. If there is a Bible that um, I have not reviewed and you want me to review, just let me know because I need to actually just go through the Bibles that I reviewed and find out which ones need to still be reviewed. But um, other than that, that is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!